This is a six-year-old girl, although if you knew her a few years ago, you might have referred to her as Paul Walsh. Well, at age 46, Paul came out as transgender and left his family to live his life as a six-year-old girl and moved in with his adoptive family. Now, she is called Stephanie Walsh and has come forward to speak to various media outlets. Hi everyone, my name's Danny Burt. We've got the full story on this here for you on IO. Before we get started, I want to ask you guys, what do you think of this story? It's a pretty crazy and interesting one, a lot of different opinions out there, but before you pass judgement, let's just get the facts straight. It was back in 2000 when Stephanie, in her own words, began to educate herself on who she really was. She realised that she wasn't just a cross-dresser like she had always thought, she was actually transgender, a person whose gender is different than the sex they were assigned at birth. By 2009, she had moved to Toronto to begin her hormone replacement therapy. Now that might sound like a progressive and positive story, but just like so many other transgender stories, there were a lot of setbacks to overcome for Stephanie. Stephanie's wife left her when she couldn't accept who Stephanie was now. She even asked her to stop being transgender. Stephanie even lost her job as a mechanic because her customers weren't comfortable with who she said she was. Even on her own daughter's wedding day, Stephanie tried to kill herself after being told she had to sit at the back, dressed as a man, and that she couldn't talk to any of the family. But why a six-year-old girl, you might ask? We're not that unfamiliar now with transgender stories, but it's not every day you hear about someone wanting to be a child again. Well, that's exactly where Stephanie would disagree with you. She says she missed out entirely on living her life as a little girl when she was little, so she's going to do it now. She says she now lives with her adopted mother, her adopted father, and their kids, and even their grandkids, and that the whole family is supportive of her. A lot of people out there are totally supportive with Stephanie's story, whilst others were they're kind of on board with some of it, but not everything, and other people are totally against it, as you can see from all the controversy about this story. Anyway guys, let us know what you think of this story in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all the great content we have here at IO. There's also two videos floating over there if you just can't wait. In the meantime guys, my name's Danny Bird, thanks for watching IO and I'll see you very soon.